Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. It's Isaac, and today we are filming a Q&A today. So we are doing something different today. We are doing a Q&A, which I said I was going to do a while ago, because I really felt that... Ugh. Okay, I feel like I really felt like like a while ago I really held back in the Q&A I did. So I'm going to be doing a Q&A today for you guys and letting you guys I asked like some guys on, I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions and on Twitter. So I'm just going to answer a few of those questions today and spill the tea. I told you guys to ask me some really hot tea questions today. So we're going to go right into this Q&A. And yeah, let's start. Let's do it. Eloman07 asks, so I'm not trying to be rude, but are you gay? Yes, I am gay. <laughs> obviously. Um, I am very gay, obviously. We can tell by that. Um, these eyelashes speak for themselves. That This makeup literally answers that question. <laughs> But yeah, I am gay. I am gay, just so you know. Next question. That is like the most... That's like the most obvious question ever. How do people not know? What? What? Next question. Sleeping Daydreamer asked, What's your favorite tea? I love Earl Grey tea. Like, two milk, two sugar, honey. Like, it needs to have some sweetener in there. I love Earl Grey tea, you guys. Like, the first smell of it when it's brewing. It smells absolutely incredible i love earl grey tea it smells just so divine i love it it smells so good when you're brewing it, it tastes amazing too like it's so freaking good i love earl grey tea like my favorite tea ever Ugh. next question rebecca cullen 001 asked me why are you so freaking good at makeup love you oh i love you too girl you're so awesome um I don't know. <laughs> I honestly, like, I'm gonna, like, post some, like, old ma makeup pictures. Like, I used to be pretty, not horrible, but not the best at makeup. Like, I was not, I, there was, like, a point where I wasn't that good, I would say. Like, I wasn't amazing. It wasn't horrible. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Definitely gotten a lot better. Uh, it's taken me a lot of practice. Like, literally two years ago, my makeup two years ago was literally a disaster. We don't talk about it. Um, I remember, like, my first makeup look was, like, a brown eyeshadow look without eyelashes. It had, like, a little bit of mascara and some winged liner. It wasn't horrible, but... I was like surprised with the amount of support I got on that picture and I was like okay I guess I'm gonna keep doing it because yeah I don't know like it just it took me a bit it took me a bit but yeah I was really horrible at makeup like two years ago <laughs> but I definitely have improved a lot since then thank god we all have changed our makeup techniques like I think throughout the years we all just change our style and like routine and I think new trends come in and new makeup trends always come in too and we just always learn new things about our makeup. I think we all always change our makeup. We always just work with different shapes and we figure out the different shapes to work with on our eyes and we work with our lips a little more, little lip shapes. We work with our face shapes a little more, figure out what shades to properly put on our face, especially like contour shades was like a huge problem with me. Oh my gosh, like it would always look so muddy when I first contoured, you guys. It was like, horrible. Oh my God. And I would wear way too dark of a highlighter all the time. I would wear like a gold highlighter. And I was like, it was like a warm, dark, gold streak across my face. It was really bad. <laughs> and I just like wear too much highlighter. Like, I don't know. Like, I, and the highlighter I was wearing on my cheekbones, it was just like, oh, it just like made so much texture on my cheekbones. And I always take my pictures with flash and it looked so bad. And I always overlined my lips like crazy. Like, I can't believe no one ever told me how horrible my lips were. Whew. Underscore Samza underscore ass. Who do you look up to the most? Um, okay. Honestly, I look up to Specifically like off of YouTube I would like say I like look up to like Jeffree Star and James Charles the most because they are literally icons And I absolutely love them and because I remember I, I watched Jeffree Star And I ordered some of his products because I was like I want to like just branch out in the makeup And I love Jeffree Star and I want to support him and I really just want to like play around with makeup and Experiment and see what will happen because I was in just like such a dark place and I did not know what I wanted to do with my life at all and 
Like, I, I never thought, like, makeup would honestly be my career choice ever, like, to be honest. It was definitely just something I was just, like, experimenting with, and then, like, one day I did it and I fell in love. Like, literally, it just, like, was a passion for me, and I, like, just embraced it, and I just kept practicing, and practice makes perfect, and... James and Jeffrey just like uh, at first I didn't when I first discovered James I'm not gonna lie I did not like he had like a lot of scandals going on so I was just like really like eh. then I like just fell in love with him over time like watching his videos and he's just like really proved himself and he's just so good at what he does and he's absolutely amazing overall and I I adore him now like he's so good and so freaking talented and yeah no I love him he's like absolutely incredible so inspiring like I love james he's an icon a legend like he has changed this like youtube industry like crazy like he has stepped up the beauty community like i cannot talk about plugin but he has like really stepped it up with the beauty community and made it like a whole different thing and he has his own thing going on like he doesn't even like do a lot of beauty videos he does more like everything like he could he does like everything it's awesome i love his channel his channel is fucking beautiful the underscore sky underscore dupon what age did you realize you were gay p.s i love you so much queen oh my gosh okay the age i realized i was gay i think i've known like since i came to my mom's fucking vagina like let's be fucking real ever since <laughs> i popped right out of there i knew i was gay it was just like a matter of fact of time of getting comfortable with being gay in part because like there was just like a lot of stigma against like gay people and I know like a lot of people back when I was a little kid like a lot of people were like really rude about it being gay and everything like people would ask me when I was like a little kid all the time too if I was gay and I was like I knew deep down inside it was but it was just like a matter of fact if I was like comfortable with being gay or like telling people I was and I wasn't at the time and I it, didn't realize until like grade 12 and I started grade 12 and I was like gay <laughs> and I had a boyfriend and, and I met this guy and I got a boyfriend and we're still together to this day and it's so cute I love him so much he's my favorite I love him his name is Brandon he's so cute love him but yeah um it took me a while like honestly but to come out and be comfortable with myself because I never th knew what my parents were gonna say overall because I my parents were very skeptical about like gay people at the time and they were always very homophobic when they were talking about gay people I'm not even gonna lie when I was a kid like they were very homophobic and my mom was very religious and like she was like very Christian and my dad oof, he was like just every other guy you but it took them a bit it took them a bit to just like I think they always knew, but they were just like in denial about it. They were like more worried about my safety and all that kind of stuff. And I was just like, no, it's okay. Like this is who I am and everything. And I think my mom already knew it was like more my dad who was like more iffy about it. Chloe Dunn6729 asked, do you have a girlfriend or boyfriend? By the way, I love you so much. Oh, love you, Chloe. Love you, girl. You the best. And I have a boyfriend, yes. I have a boyfriend, I've been dating him since high school, and I'm 20 now. I think we've been together for a while, like we've been together for like two, three years, three years almost. We're going on like three years, oh my gosh. Yeah, me and my boyfriend are like going on three years almost now, so that's crazy to think that we're been together for almost three years. Um, <laughs> his name is Brandon, I love him, he's so cute. I want it, I've been like asking him, we need to film a video together, we need to film a video together, but like I don't know how he feels about coming on camera. Like I'm going to make him go on camera. He's just like very self-conscious about his like skin and his voice and everything. And I'm just like, you need to, it's fine. Like no one cares, like it's, people have acne, people have skin, it's fine. And. You're not the only one with the gay voice. It's fine. <laughs> Chloe underscore Lee underscore Will. Who inspired you to start doing makeup? XO, XO, XO. Jeffree Star, though, like, he literally, like, oh my god, he literally changed my life. Like, oh my gosh. When I watched one of his videos, he, like, <laughs> changed my fucking life. 
And I also watched, like, when I was a kid, I watched a lot of RuPaul's Drag Race, and I was obsessed with watching RuPaul's Drag Race. Like, I was so obsessed with that show, and I never, like, really told anyone, and I was, like, so obsessed with RuPaul's Drag Race. It was so... I'm still obsessed with RuPaul's Drag Race to this day. It's such a freaking good show. I love that show so freaking much. It's so good. Love that show. And Jeffree Star. Like, Jeffree Star really inspired me, and, like, I watched Jeffree Star from the beginning of his YouTube channel, and it, like he like really inspired me like his like style and just like being very adventurous and just like showing no fucks to give to anyone and i love it luminal underscore c underscore why did you start doing your makeup um i started doing my makeup because i really i started doing my makeup because i really just like never I was just like so angry and like I don't know I was just like so lost with myself and I didn't know what to do with myself and I knew I wanted to express myself in a way through art and self-expression if you're a guy or a girl you can still do makeup and I wanted to inspire young people and young teens all over the world too and just like show older people also to be like just be yourself and just be an empowering figure to the world like, love when people like tag me in makeup looks on instagram when i do makeup looks like all the time like i love when people tag me in them and they like recreate one of my looks i did and they're like inspired by isaac halverson or something and i'm like i i, I literally like tear up with that kind of stuff that stuff makes my day it's absolutely freaking amazing i love it like that stuff is amazing and like I just want people to know like it's okay to be yourself and to you can wear makeup and I know there's still like a lot of makeup shaming that goes on with guys and girls and we still have like a long way to go with like guys and girls and it's okay to just like be yourself because you can do whatever you want with your life it's your choice and you'll realize the people that really matter to you when you start doing what you do and then they'll support you and then the people that don't matter will just walk away and ditch you. Last question. Last question. This is becoming a very long Q&A. Z-X-E-X-L-X-D-X-A. I don't know if this is rude, but are your parents supportive of you? Um, okay. At first, my parents weren't that supportive of me, not gonna lie. Like, my parents were not supportive of me when I was, like, doing makeup. When I came out two years ago, they were very confused and they were like, are you like transgender? Like, what are you? And I was like, no, like, no, I'm, I'm just like expressing myself with makeup. That's all I'm doing. And they were just like really confused. My mom was more understanding. My dad, oof, that was a whole different story. My mom was easier. I don't know. Women are just more understanding most of the time. My mom, she was just like. I was like, no, it's just, like, self-expression and everything, and, like, I just like doing makeup, and it's just, like, my thing, and she's like, oh, okay, like, that makes sense. Like, I know a lot of guy makeup artists, and I know, like, drag queens, and, like, she was more understanding. She was definitely a lot more understanding. My dad, on the other hand, like, we ended up literally, like, getting, me and my dad ended up getting in, like, a full-on fist fight over makeup, which was absolutely fucking stupid, and I regret it to this day and like it just like escalated like out of control like i remember i like walked out with my first makeup look in front of him and it was like two years ago and i was like oh like what do you think and he just like was like go wash that off and like laughed at me and i just never have like felt so powerless in my life from my parent like you someone who like loved you and like raised you all your life and then like basically degrade you on something you have such a passion for and you want to do and then they just like degrade you like that and you're just like like my jaw just like freaking dropped i was so freaking sad and mad about that moment but we've definitely like moved on and he's definitely a lot more understanding but i definitely just need to like share that with you guys because i know it's not perfect for everybody and i just want you guys to know my struggles too that i've like not I didn't have it perfect, like, my parents didn't accept me right away, like, they were very, my dad especially was very, like, pushy at, at first, like, no, like, I'm totally against this, and he called me some very disgusting names that 
we don't talk about we don't talk about but we're over that we apologize we're over that kind of stuff and yeah <laughs> and it took my dad like a really long time he's very accepting now and he loves what i do and he like follows me on instagram and like likes my pictures and everything he's very supporting and yeah um, i love him to death and i love my mom to death too i love them both they were both fucking amazing it just took them a bit it took them a bit and that's okay because sometimes some people just need to change for the better like literally <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this q a i love you guys all so freaking much don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel you guys know the drill with that and this week's shout out goes to charlotte thank you so much girl for supporting me i love you guys so much if you guys want to receive a shout out make sure to retweet my links whenever to go live on twitter which is halverson isaac and my snapchat is isaac halverson and my instagram is isaac halverson so go make sure to check out all my social media i'll leave it down below i love you guys all so much and i hope to see you guys on my next video bye guys <laughs>